Here's the basic setup for the Ascara robot. It consists of four joints. Joint one, two, three, and then a rotation for four. The movement of the joints can be done individually or, um, or they can be done based upon the, the global axis, the world axis. So um, individually, the moment, movements of the joints, um, we're going to move joint 141st. You can see it just pivots. Joint 2, again, it's pivot. 3, down. When you're doing 3, you want to make sure that uh, this is as high as it'll go, is this. And uh, here we had an issue where our end effectors, our tooling, was higher than that, and uh, it can break your stuff. So, careful with that. And then the fourth is is rotation. It has a rotation of 300 degrees, I believe, 720 degrees. So you want to make sure you have enough slack in your line if you're going to be doing a lot of rotation. All right. Next is the um, the X Y Z work coordinates, and um, what that does is it holds a particular axis um, locked, and um, that allows you to move um, the Tool point, tool point um, linearly without having to worry about the, the sweeping of the angles here. So um, you've got the X, the Y, the Z, and then you've got your theta. Um, so we'll move X in this X direction. So here we have our X, Y. And you can see that it's moving both joint one and joint two. Um, it's taking care of that calculation for us. So we bring X back, and then we can move it in the Y direction. And then the Z direction is the same as it was for the, for the joint. And then the theta is just going to be the rotation.